We are still waiting. It's a waiting game. We are focused, we are focused. <clears throat> It's 4.26 p.m., 4.26 p.m., September 20th, 2024, Friday, and we are focused. We are still waiting for the mule to uh, start his day. Battle Star Owner continues with his distraction going in and out with empty boxes. Here he is again. He continues trying to distract me. Very nervous. 
very nervous. Now he's just there. He's, he doesn't know what else to do. The distractions continue. Instructions given and command signal. There you go. He continues running back and forth in and out. The distractions continue. I'm working the blender too. I'm walking away. I take the mirror product, the very rare product which you can access. I'm making my jamba juice. Oh, there you go. That's the reason for the distraction. That's the reason for the distraction. See that? I went to uh, the blender and he snapped his fingers. He snapped his fingers because he's under instructions. He just found out I am recording him. And that's why he snapped his fingers. See that? That's why he snapped his fingers. He got caught. He got caught with his hands inside the cookie jar. I walked away. I walked away. Um, and before I walked away, I said, I'm working with the blender. And I went, and you, you heard me open up the porch door. And I came, I just pressed the button and I came back right away. Look how quickly... He walked from here all the way that way. And then he snapped his fingers right there. He has a hearing device, a listening device, instructions given, on command signal. He snapped his fingers once I said we got him. He snapped his fingers. This is how they're carrying on this uh, murder plot against my life. Electronic harassment. And they're able to uh, transmit and transfer electrical current to a victim's brain. And that's the reason why the dollar store owner continued uh, walking back and forth as a distraction, uh, working with empty boxes back and forth. Um, I just had to let it play out. And we put the pieces together and we got it. The evidence is in, folks. It's uh, 4.30 p.m. 4.30 p.m. September 20th, 2024, Friday. Uh, the distractions continue. Uh, dollar store owner was involved. And um, electronic harassment, bright light harassment. Let me show you. See? This is bright light harassment. Okay? This is bright light harassment. And you see that? Power right there. That's to uh, cover up the faces of Anthony J. Loder and Nello Greco. Daily entrance and exit. And over here, bright light harassment continues. And the kitchen. This is daily harassment. And uh, the pressure gun folks. This criminal organization is very, very concerned because they're utilizing, it's not about me now. It's about after school children being targeted um, to, the, to deliver white powder bags known as cocaine from this address, 5130 and 5132. Uh, this, is, this is big business. 
And um, the Bagman continues uh, trying to uh, avoid the camera, and he snapped his fingers um, upon hearing, he got you. He got you on camera. That's why he snapped his fingers. He's listening on command signal to instructions. And, well, we got him. And we're going to continue focusing on this uh, criminal organization, Identity Theft Medicaid, unsolved murder cases of Identity Theft Medicaid. Victims are coerced. They are coerced, manipulated, and preconditioned to react. Just like um, I'm demonstrating here. I cover up the windows. Oh, look who came back. Remember the guy from yesterday with the red car? See? He he came back. So there is a drug activity and there is movement. Okay, we're moving on. The pressure's on, folks. The pressure is on. 4.33 p.m. Oh, and by the way, the mob panicked and she drove the opposite direction. She drove the opposite direction. People hide for a reason, folks. Don't worry, we get her next time. But just a simple fact that I don't have her on video. And I, I am... Um, I always uh, am able to capture everyone on video. She avoided the camera again. The pressure, the pressure. This criminal organization is feeling the heat. And all they can do is hide and run. But we're going to continue putting pressure on this criminal organization with your support. Remember now, there's children involved. I contacted... Um, Several schools in the area, and I gave them my card. Uh, Tana Cicero Police Department refuses to open up an investigation. This is called protection cover-up. Dirty little secret, white powder bags. And um, my phones continue to be stolen on a daily basis. Uh, UPS continues to investigate. And I'm still working with the insurance to get my phone. And we're going to continue. Organized crime family is responding. And they're hiding. And uh, the bag man was caught on camera snapping his fingers the second I said we got him. High tech surveillance monitor. Very aware of my location and activity. This is how they're carrying on this murder plot against my life. Keep your eyes on me, folks. Cause of death, tumor, cancer, brain damage. Silent incoherent victims. Nursing home final faith. Identity theft Medicaid takes place. Manipulate businesses. Remain in control. Silent victims. It's very important... <clears throat> Excuse me, it's very important to manipulate the victims at home uh, because um, that's key. Once the victims react by covering up the windows, well, pre enrollment mental health hospital begins. Once they're able to manipulate conflict among family members because they're concerned over your actions, well, pre enrollment mental health hospital begins. Constant mental health hospital evaluation, victims lose their credibility. That's very important uh, to lose contact and the, the person over time um, is left alone and is left to, um, on their own. And that's, that's why uh, the high frequencies uh, take a turn for the worse. And um, daily, just imagine, uh, 
I can take this because um, I'm not in under the influence. I don't drink. I don't smoke. But imagine a person that's under the influence, under doctor's care. Every time this person reacts in the hospital, the consequences are very, very severe. Very severe and silent, incoherent victims. Incoherent. Non-social. And that's how they're able to get away with murder and the identity theft. And no open cases because the victim on, on their own uh, caused a lot of questions. Uh, just by them reacting, um, the, the record, the track record of that victim, they lose their credibility and um, there's no investigation. And right off the bat, Town of Cicero Police Department refuses. And I'm not even in the hospital. Just imagine if I were. Town of Cicero Police Department refuses to open up an investigation. And I have the evidence. And I have my YouTube channel. And so just imagine if I was silent and coherent in the hospital. Is Town of Cicero Police Department going to help me? Not all Town of Cicero Police Department are involved in this uh, criminal organization, of course. But just think about that for a second. Okay. Thank you so much. We are going to continue focusing and we are waiting for the mule. I know the mule is hiding behind the door as, we, I, as I'm talking to you. And um, we're going to get him as soon as he comes out. Okay, we're moving on. Thank you so much for your support. Have a safe Friday evening and night.